what is going on everybody welcome back to another video today we're going to do a little bit of a different video today we're going to take a look at the golden state california so we're going to do like the top 10 like cheapest places to live in california for a house and cost of living normally california is a very a very expensive state but there's some places that are cheaper than others like a lot cheaper than others but for sure i know los angeles and san francisco is definitely not on this list so if you thought and then you thought wrong then you clearly don't know anything about california but california is a beautiful state in my opinion i've never been there but i really want to go someday a lot of the some of these places that are on this list they may not offer the most, but it's there for you, and the houses are cheap there. Pretty much almost all of it is going to be near, like, not, I wouldn't say Death Valley, but, like, in a desert. By the, it's in, by the desert. So, without further ado, let's see what's the top 10, top 10 most cheapest places to live in California. Number 10. 29 Palms, California. This town is in the middle of the Mojave Desert. It's a pretty cheap, quiet town. It's really nice. It's like, it's east of Los Angeles, I'm pretty sure. It's like near, it's like near the Nevada border. But it's a quiet little town. The crime is pretty low. 29 Palms, California cost of living rate is 33% lower than California's average and 25% lower than the national average. So this is a pretty decent town. We're already on number 10. This is the cost of living rate. And you can buy a home from here from $150,000. It may need some work, but it's it, to get you something nice, maybe $250,000. It's really not that bad there. Number nine, Blythe, California. Blythe, California is where you combine retirees and desert. It's a lot of desert lands over there. Blythe, California is in the middle of the Colorado desert. Even though it says Colorado desert, it's in California. It's not in Colorado. I actually thought Colorado desert spread from California to Colorado. But it's pretty cheap here. Like I said from the beginning, a lot of these places are in a desert, surrounded by desert, or in a high desert or a low desert. But like if you don't mind dirt or sand and heat, then these places are for you. Blythe, California is 30% lower than the national average and 34% lower than California's average. This is a pretty decent town to live in you can find a house from a hundred and from under a hundred fifty thousand dollars and if you really want a decent house or really nice house two hundred twenty five thousand dollars it's really not bad to live here number eight chowchilla california chowchilla is in between Fre fresno and merced it's okay. Merced is okay, but Fresno, I heard Fresno is a pretty rough place in California. It gets pretty hot here in Chowchilla, Chilo, and they do have some crime, but it's not terrible. This is kind of a rural town. I wouldn't say a rural town, but they do have some farmlands in between also. Sorry for this one. I didn't have the cost of living rate, but I'll tell you right now. The uh, cost of living rate in Chowchilla is 36% lower than California's average. And it's 2 and it's 2% lower than the national average, which is 63% lower the real estate prices. And if you you can buy a home from there, from $160,000 to $300,000. It's not bad for California, at least. But you just have to deal with the heat and stuff there. It's pretty hot over there, but it's a dry heat, obviously. 
and they do have a little bit of crime, but not nearly as bad like Oakland or parts of LA, but it's not bad here. Number seven, Gustine, California. Gustine is like s- southeast of of San Jose, California. This place is pretty decent. It's a um, it's a lot of deserts and stuff. Um, this place is pretty cheap. It's it's a it's a good town. It's not bad. It's a nice small little town also. It's with low crime and the uh, um and Gustine's cost of living rate is 31% lower than California's average and 15% lower than the national average. It's pretty it's a great town. They also have some farmlands too out there also. Like they have a lot of people that own ranches out there. This time I have the um cost of living list right here number six fireball california this is a small town of a lot of farming communities it's a lot of agriculture land out here it's if you like farming it's a pretty decent place to live in too because they don't really have much people living in this town but it's pretty affordable too also this is probably one of the best places to like agriculture in California also because most of California is desert and you can't really farm in desert that much you can but it will be harder the cost of living of fireball is 35 percent lower than California's average and 32 percent lower than the national average it's a pretty decent place Homes here range from $200,000. Number five, El Centro, California. El Centro, California is near the Mexico border. It's literally, it's like probably like less than an hour or an hour away from Mexico. It's a pretty decent, decent small town. It's also east of San Diego. This city has some a farming town. It's yeah, it's a lot of farming in El Centro. And the metro like like the population here is like 160,000 people here. It's a lot of farmland and desert and I heard nearby they have they have really great off-road activities in this town cuz they have like the sand dunes and like the desert desert trails and stuff is really cool. And you can also buy some cheap land here too, like cheap lots. The the cost of living rate in El Centro, California is 30% lower than the national average and 2% lower than the national average. You can buy a, a, a home from here from 200,000 or 250 or $350,000 for a good and decent home. The cost of living rate right here for El Centro also. Number four, Atwater, California. Atwater, California has a little of a little bit of decent history. The first post post office was opened here in eighteen eighty eight. And it was incorporated in nineteen twenty two. They named the town after Marshall D. D. Atwater, a local wheat farmer whose land they used to actually put the railroad station in come. Actually, it has some decent history, too. Atwater's cost of living is 30% lower than California's average and 2% lower than the national average. Now, they do have a little bit of crime. It's 59% higher than the national average, but... I mean, it's all right. Like, I mean, it's it's kind of it's kind of like nothing, because take a look at Chicago and East St. Louis, and Detroit. There's they're like four hundred, five hundred, three hundred percent higher, but it's really not that bad. This is the cost of living rate for Atwater. 
Number three, Rosemont, California. Rosemont is just north of Los Angeles, California, but it's also like an hour and a half away from uh, L.A., so it's a nice little town. It's a lot of desert out here. It's beautiful, though. There's lots of desert lots for sale for a cheap price. Also, it's maybe like $15,000 for the lot or $30,000, $20,000. Not bad. The cost of living rate in Rosemont, California is 24% lower than California's average and 11% lower than the national average. It's pretty good, pretty decent small towns. There's a lot of empty lots for sale here also. This is the cost of living rate for Rosemont. Number two, Altrus, California. Altrus, California is a town if you want to get away from people or crowds. It's in the northeastern section of California. It's like a few, a couple, it's like an hour away from Reno, Nevada. It's a nice little rural town. It's cool. There's a whole bunch of mountains and forests and farmlands in this little town of California. It's pretty small. Cost of living rate of Altrus is 34% lower than California's average and 8% lower than the national average. I mean, 41% lower than the national average. I'm sorry. You can buy a home here for like under $100,000 and the nice ones go up to $220,000. It's a pretty cheap place. And it's so remote here, so. See, that's what I'm saying. Like, it's a really cheap place to live in because it's so remote and it's so lonely and number one Susanville California Susanville California is two hours away south from Ultras California it's the it's a really nice quiet town it's a really has some interesting history too this is what it Looks like now, but it looked very similar back in the days, too. Because I've seen pictures of Susanville before. I mean, take a look at this. This is beautiful. I love it over there. I've never been there, but I've seen pictures of it before, and it's beautiful forest. It's a lot of, like, forested areas. But the cost of living rate of Susanville is 30% lower than California's average and it's 15% lower than the national average. You can buy a house here for under $150,000. This is their cost of living rate right here. All right, that was it. This was today's video. That This was my top 10 most cheapest places to buy a home or to live in, in California. Thank you for watching for today's video. Um, please hit the subscribe button. I would greatly appreciate it. And like all my videos if you want. And I really enjoy doing videos like these. I've started doing these type of videos. Pro I don't remember. I think since last year really. I just thought of, of my own. And stuff. I know a lot of other people does these kind of videos. Like World According to Briggs. Or like, you know, from here to there, if you guys don't know them. But thank you for watching. And I'm really trying to gain some more subscribers. So if you, like I said, please, if you want, can you hit the subscribe button? I'm trying to get to 1,000. I'm at 892 subscribers. But that's it for today's video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.